I going go first? first? I go first. <laughs> Fine. I'm gonna struggle. Here we go. Okay. Alyssa, I choose you for life. As time went on, we became closer and I found out that you were different. Intelligent, gorgeous, compassionate, goal-oriented, and filled my life with joy. I knew I had to make a move. We started dating and you opened up, showing your introspective side and deep thinking, all while taking the risk of being vulnerable. You challenged me, questioned my thoughts and ideas to try and pry me open, and you succeeded. You taught me things about myself I never knew. Revealing my genuine self, meanwhile enabling me to love myself. I could be myself with you. You strengthened relationships I had with friends and family. I felt whole, full, and alive. I knew at this moment you were special. You are my better half. Where I am weak, you are strong. You balance me out and also elevate me. You push me to work harder, dig deeper, to have confidence in myself and have pride in my accomplishments. But I have to say, my biggest one is finding you. I cherish our commonalities, from watching Forensic Files, Will Ferrell movies, and Game of Thrones, to going camping, playing basketball, and listening to music. I could go on and on. We also have differences. Our upbringings are not quite the same, but that's okay. Someone once said, differences of habit and language are nothing at all if our aims are identical and our hearts are open. I will grow old with you through rough times and good times. I'll always be at your side. You are my co-pilot on this journey, my best friend, and my love for eternity. As I have given you my hand to hold, I give you my life to keep. Trevor, the love of my life, where do I even begin? There was a time in my life where I didn't know if I was ever going to be able to let myself open up to the idea of love. I was single for a long time because I think some part of me didn't believe I'd ever be able to let someone in, truly in. And if I did, I figured we'd, he'd run for the hills once he realized how broken I was. I kept most guys away at arm's length, never fully letting my guard down. When I finally decided that I was ready to let love into my life, that I wasn't broken and I was deserving of love, it only took about a month for me to realize that this mysterious thing that I had shied away from was literally right in front of me all along. Looking back, I should have probably been able to see the signs that maybe we were meant to be together. We had a solid friendship full of memorable, well, hazily memorable <laughs> times, and I just always knew that a night out with you would be a good one. You were smart, driven, hot, outgoing, sensitive, true to your word, you were basically the full package tied in a perfect little bow, and it somehow took me five years to realize it. But I think that's kind of the beauty of how we ended up together. We literally found love right where we were. I thank my lucky stars every damn day that I'm gonna be spending the rest of my life with my best friend. Not the quotation mark best friend, but my real life best friend. Now listen would you place this ring on Trevor's left hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of my vow. Of my vow. My faithfulness. My faithfulness. And my love. And my love. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a single symbol of my vow. My faithfulness. My faithfulness. And my love. And my love. Nailed it. By the laws of the state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife. When God has joined together, let no one separate. Trevor, you can kiss your wife. Uh, just want to thank everyone for coming out, uh, making the trip all the way out here. We're we're just so lucky to have all of you friends, family out here under one roof, all people that mean so much to us. We're so blessed, both of us. It's a beautiful sight to see when all your friends can come together and family can come together and spend a night all together. We love you all and you mean a lot to us.